They shall look on him whom they have pierced. And so ends today's gospel, which records for us the opening of the heart of Jesus and the birth of the church. And when we are reminded of this prophecy, we are called also to look with the eyes of faith and with St. Paul to bend our knee before God and to be renewed unto the inward man so that we will know the charity of Christ and be transformed by it. Today on First Friday we remember with a particular fervor and encouragement from the church and from the private revelation of the Sacred Heart of Jesus to St. Margaret Mary we are encouraged to remember with a special fervor and a special devotion by which we offer our day and most especially our communion in reparation for sins against the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And we try in a particular way on this day, this first Friday, to be free of sin, to confess our sins, to receive Jesus in Holy Communion and to be a source of consolation to him rather than a source of offense. We look on him whom we have pierced because we have pierced him by our own sins. Our Lord suffers because of us. When we come before the altar on First Friday as we do every time we come before the altar to be forgiven and healed, to be strengthened, to be nourished, and to participate in the saving love of Christ to be transformed by it. So we ask for that grace today. It's always, you know, our motives and intentions that have to be transformed before anything else so that our works of penance and devotion, the uh, observances of our holy religion will be given the life that they must have which is the life of Christ himself, the charity of Christ, and uh, his saving grace. May we have that grace today on this first Friday and during this whole month dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus.